now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that they I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to the to Lord, the Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God. As you await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when He comes in ox, He may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in His praise, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, the branch of the Lord will be luster and glory, and the fruit of the earth will be honor and splendor for the survivors of Israel. He who remains in Zion and he who is left in Jerusalem will be called holy. 
every one marked down for life in Jerusalem. When the Lord washes away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and purges Jerusalem's blood from her midst, with a blast of searing judgment, then will the Lord create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over her place of assembly a smoking cloud by day and a light of flaming fire by night. For over all, the Lord's glory will be shelter and protection, shade from the parching heat of day, refuge and cover from storm and rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree of for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls prosperity in your buildings. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Because of my relatives and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Please stand. And save us, Lord our God. Let your face shine upon us that we may be saved. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you to enter under my roof. Only say out the word, and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to the one, Go, and he goes. And to another, Come here, and he comes. And to my slave, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to, to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Advent season is here with us. This is a lot of time for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters, for our preparation before the celebration of Christmas season. Truly, it is a blessing given to us to look into our very self that we may find our path in a life going forward ever closer to God. Mother, brothers and sisters, Advent season is the right time to see, to experience, and to share the very concern of God for all of us. Ito po yung panahon na tayo'y pinaghahanda ng Diyos sa kabila ng ating paghahanda ng doon ang ating Panginoon nakikilakbay pa rin sa atin na kung saan, mga kapatid, ito yung nais ng Diyos para sa atin sa panahon ng Adviento, tayo'y binibigyan ng pagkakataon upang makapaghanda isang biyaya upang tunay na maranasan ang pagkakalinga at pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin. Like in our first reading of today that we heard from the passage in the book of the prophet Isaiah, we are telling about the Lord spoke to Isaiah regarding the coming of God in his salvation to his people. By this, God will protect and guide his holy people. This is our assurance, my dear brothers and sisters, that the Lord will, the Lord's glory will be our shelter and protection. Bringing to us in our gospel today, Jesus truly shows us his real mission. No doubt, his unconditional concern for everybody is real and manifested. To the request or appeal of the Roman centurion, as we heard in our gospel today, the Roman centurion was so concerned about his servant, he valued the welfare and, of course, the life, not only for the service of that servant, but he wants to be well through the power of Jesus. The good example of the Roman centurion in our gospel today my dear brothers and sisters, speaks to us the importance and dignity of his servant that must be attended with love. Roman centurion treated his servants, a true person, a true friend, a true brother, and belong to his family. Remember, the good disposition of the Roman centurion in our gospel today wants us to share with us we don't need of titles or positions to approach Jesus. Hindi po natin kinakailangan na mayroong titulo o katungkulan sa lipunan upang lumapit sa ating Panginoon. We can approach Jesus anytime. Kahit anong oras, kahit anong Kahit nasaan tayo, pwede tayong tumawag sa ating Panginoon. Only requires us, my dear brothers and sisters, to have solid faith, hope, and love, added by our humble heart. Ito po yung nakakalimutan natin sa paglapit natin sa ating Panginoon. Minsan po tayong lahat ay nagmamataas. Kulang tayo sa ating pagpapakumbaba Kulang tayo sa pag-ako natin sa ating mga kahinaan. My dear brothers and sisters, these virtues ignite to the Roman centurion. Even though he possessed civil power, he never used it to ignore the presence of God. Ito po yung hinihingi sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Kung anong mayroon man tayo sa ngayon, ano man ang question natin sa ngayon, nawa hindi po ito maging hadlang upang tayo'y hindi mapalapit sa ating Panginoon. 
anytime, anywhere, we can approach our Lord. He approached Jesus being powerless. Hindi niya po kinilala o pinansin ang kanyang kapangyarihan. He approached Jesus being a powerless, walang kapangyarihan. By, this, by His words, as we heard in our gospel today, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only the word and my servant will be healed. By this, my dear brothers and sisters, the presence of Jesus bring us to the spirit of Advent that we are all convinced in our spiritual journey starting yesterday and so on and so forth. Though we are not worthy by our genuine faith, hope, and love, added by our sincere, humble heart or humility, we are now worthy to receive God's blessing bestow upon us every day. And we are now hopefully worthy to celebrate the Christmas. And hopefully, we are worthy to enjoy and to be belong to His kingdom forever. Amen. Please stand. May their brothers and sisters, as we enter the season of Advent, we make our prayer to God our Father with all our hearts so that we can avail ourselves of the opportunity to a, of a new beginning in grace. And every petition we say, God of mercy, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear our prayer. That those who minister in the church may bring the light of the gospel to all mankind. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our lives we may show the same love and compassion that the centurion had for his servant to those who need our help. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may understand and accept those people who differ from us in race and religion. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, mercy hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may meet the Lord whom they eagerly awaited. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of mercy, mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. God our Father, help us to grow in, your, in our compassion and give hope to all those who touch our lives. May Advent bring us closer to you and each other as we await in joyful hope for the coming of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Then. 
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may we, what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below, gain for us the price of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, who he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago, and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy o Lord, the font of all holiness. May call it therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which we offered out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to know our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus. Is always available for all of us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my, my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Be the body and blood of Christ gave us faults of life. Please stand. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, 
profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God has chosen